Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're going to be taking a look at the HG Build Divers Re-Rise Weapons Pack. Here this is for the Injustice Weapons. This is number 10 in the HG Build Divers Re-Rise line. Interestingly, they're counting these weapons packs in just along with the main line. In Build Fighters and Build Divers, before, they counted the weapons parts as a separate line, as for like Build Fighters. Instead of HG Build Fighters, it was HG Build Custom, for example. But in this case, anyway, we're going to be taking a look at the Injustice weapons. The Injustice Night Gundam was a kit that I was not really too particularly interested in, but the weapons did look pretty cool. It's kind of your standard shield and lance combo here. You do also have this kind of wing bit included as well. So I think there could be some interesting customized options that you can do with some of this stuff. So I want to take a look at this set. Here on the front, you can see there it with a Gunna Mark II. Not really necessarily the best combination in my personal opinion, but I think we can probably come up with something a little bit more interesting than that. Let's just take a look around the box here first. So on the top and bottom, it's going to be the same thing there. On this side, nothing really too much to see there. On the other side, we are going to see a couple more images here. Once again, just to look at just the basics of what's included here. I'm guessing we're probably going to have one black runner, one blue runner, and that's pretty much it. A couple different combinations here with the Freedom Gundam. It looks a little bit more appropriate there in that case. And then over here, there it is with the Gundam Justice Knight. So anyway, let's get the box opened up and see what we've got in here. We've actually got uh, two blue runners there, two dark blue runners, small ones. Anyway, and then two small black runners here as well. So a little bit more in terms of just the runner count than I was what, what I was expecting. As far as instruction paper here, just going to show the basic assembly of the parts. Nothing really too much to that. And then just how to mount them onto some different kits here onto the backpack. And then just some more examples using some of the different attachment pieces included here. It looks like for mounting the weapons and backpack. You can mount them all together to make one kind of flyer thing there as well, it looks like. And then we've got the parts list and the color guide down here on the back side as well. Just the information for the colors there, not the actual colors themselves as the back is just in black and white. But let's get a look at the runners here real quick. So it starts off here from runner F. I'm guessing obviously runners A through E were just the different parts of the Knight Justice Gundam. So here we just have a couple of dark blue parts there on runner F1. And then the rest of our blue parts here on runner F2, so you can see some shield parts and some attachment parts there. And then runner G1, just a couple of parts here in black, connection parts basically it looks like. And then runner G2, just the last of our parts here, more parts for the shield and lance, lance handle and all that. So let me get this put together and we'll see how it looks. All right, so we'll just go over the individual elements here first. Here is how the lance is going to look when it's all put together. And actually, just straight out of the box, it looks kind of nice. The fact that it's in the two-tone blue and black color scheme there, the details look pretty good. You got this nice kind of fishtail detail there at the end. So the lance on its own looking pretty good. The shield as well also looks quite nice. You have a bunch of different connection points there on the back. The little fin part there, which also sticks out. Also would make for like for a good sort of radome unit or something like that. If you wanted to get into customizing with that. And then the wing bit here as well. Also pretty simple. Those will just fold out like that. So some nice, just a little bit of detail there around on that part looking good as well. You can see where this will then be able to plug onto something there as well. You have those little connection bits. And speaking of connection bits, these are the little connection parts that you're going to have that you can use for doing some different stuff. So first off, you can take this little part here and plug it into the back of the shield there and take this handle part as well and plug that into the back of the shield. So those two connection parts can be stored in the back of the shield like that, which is pretty nice. And you can attach the shield onto the top of the wing part here like that. Flip that little flip there back and then this also will attach onto the top of the lance like this and you can flip out the wings kind of I guess as much or as little as you want to this be like the full extension of that this just being like as a flyer on its own but I kind of like it with them sort of like halfway out like that actually looks pretty cool as well so very interesting look to that and this could just be handheld as some sort of like big gigantic weapon but you can then also just plug this onto an action base just right there and have this just as its own sort of flying thing as well so that's just the combined form of them but this connection piece here just plugged onto that is going to give you the connection you need for plugging this onto the backpack of mini and hg gundam which share that backpack connection so i'm going to be using the love phantom here for an example you can just plug this onto the back of a kit like this now the cool thing is that will give you a connection piece which is not too bad. I typically don't like connection pieces for backpacks that set the backpack too far away from the mobile suit creating a huge gap here. So it's a little bit far, it's not too bad. The cool thing though that you can do with that though is then it still maintains the feature of being able to tilt up like that 
using those rotation points. So it still gives you a pretty cool look for that, sort of something similar, I guess, to like the Aegis or something, which has the backpack, which will rotate up with the wings that fold out like that. So it's not a bad look for that, I'll have to say. Now just going back to the shield, this connection piece here will just give you that kind of square peg, which some kits use for plugging the shield into the arm, something like that. But if you don't need that, you can just take it out or you can keep it stored in there, whichever. But we're just going to use the regular holding handle here because this is going to be something universal that uh, most kits should be able to just grab onto this handle part for that. So we'll just connect that onto our hand. And just for the sake of making this easier to hold, I'm removing this part off of the arm just because I think that's going to be kind of getting in the way. And as you can see, there's different points where you could choose to plug this in. I'm just going to go for the center point here just to see how that's going to look. And it holds onto it pretty well. Typically with it just holding onto a handle like that, what you could run into is the problem with the shield just kind of sinking down like that. So having it not connected onto the arm uh, could be a bit of an issue for some kits. For this one, it's holding onto it, you know, well enough. But in other cases, you may want to just scratch build some sort of simple connector if it doesn't automatically connect onto the arm. Just some sort of connection piece between the two. The shield and the arm would be something easy to make. So then of course the lance should fit into the hand without any issue, any kind of recent kind of standard HG hand should be able to hold on to this without any problems at all so that just slips into the hand easy enough like that and we're good to go. But as far as these option sets go, I mean, some of them, I, I, in my personal opinion, are kind of take it or leave it. Some of them are not that interesting. But this one, I think, is definitely one of the more interesting ones. Well, I personally was not really into the HG uh, Injustice Knight, where these parts originally came from. I think just as an option set on their own, they make for some really cool parts that you could definitely use pretty easily with some different cup kit bashing, customizing kind of option ideas that you might come up with. So if that's the kind of thing you're into, if you're into the whole build fighters thing, or if you're just into customizing your HG kits a little bit, then this is definitely a good set to pick up, I think, and it's pretty cheap. You know, if you can pick it up for less than 10 bucks, it'll give you some really nice options to use for making some pretty interesting customs. So pretty versatile straight out of the box I mean the colors are relatively neutral just blue and black so even if you're not gonna paint them you can still I think use them with uh, most things you know fairly easily but at least you know painting at least the blue parts uh, so that there would be in a different color which is more neutral I think it would be you know something that you could do but it's definitely an option set that I'm really pleased with so I can highly recommend this to you guys now at the moment personally I don't really have an idea of how I'm going to ultimately be using this uh, so I'll have to think about that, but it'll be just a good thing to have on hand for when the time or when inspiration strikes. So that's pretty much it for the review, guys. There's, of course, other things you know that you can do customizing this, but I just want to show you just a simple example what you can do uh, with this, what you're meant to do with this, just straight out the box anyway. But if you guys do have any other questions about the kit, feel free to ask down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about it down there. And once again, big thank you to USA Gundam Store, of course, for their support. Check the link to USA Gundam Store in the video description and use my coupon code there, Zacharelius10. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.